Hey guys, so today I want to talk about what's up there. Join me after this and we'll get into it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Hi guys, welcome back. So I want to talk about roofing. So there's so many different types of roofs. It's who would have thought there's so many ways to put a roof on a house? So you've got your standard ones. Obviously, we've got the wooden boards underneath to give it support on most houses, that is, anyway. So we've got the wooden supports there with... Um, oh, let me turn the speakers down so that I don't start getting feedback. And so they, you can see they're putting on shingled roof. So we've got... You know, close up of that is a nice shingle roof. So there's different types of shingles too. Now shingles, they last anywhere from 20 to 50 years. Um, you know, depending on what grade you get. Uh, there's so many different varieties out there. They come in all sorts, all colors and all longevity. So you get some that are will only last about 20 years and some that will last up to 50 so choice is your oyster there and they're obviously the cheapest form of roofing that we can get the ash asphalt um, shingles that go on the roof um, is another example of uh, someone putting them out so you can see he's using an L gun so puts tar paper down, have they put any barriers through, like ice barriers, uh, prior to that, and then they nail it straight through the wooden boards um, to secure it. Now, obviously, sometimes if you get a really strong wind, that can tear them off. Um, you've probably seen that before on many people's houses. So, but they're the most common and the cheapest around, so not as labor intensive as some of the other methods so let's show you some of the others you've um obviously we've got the um, flat roof so you've got the membrane that goes down and uh, they join it using tar and a heat gun and roll it out and seal the seams and you typically get that on flat roofs next one is metal so there's been a lot being said recently a lot of advertising going on for metal roofs so metal roofing um, they typically last 50 to 75 years some even longer um, but they're yeah metal shingles so they've even got shingle metal that looks like a shingle so it still keeps the aesthetics going and they look pretty good don't they and um, you know this is the sheet of metal and these are the shingles that just look like a normal shingle like an asphalt shingle but they're going to last a lot longer but they also cost a lot more so metal shingles um, anywhere from six bucks up to 16 bucks per square foot this is all my prices that I've got as of last year was six to sixteen per square foot obviously then you've got to pay to have it installed so that doesn't necessarily cost uh, you know give you the cost of installation um, then you've got the similar to what's on these dormers um, you can have the whole roof made uh, similar to that which is this one this is all a metal roof um, and they just the seams are all joined together they like crimp it with a machine and seals it and great great roofing lasts a long time so um, you know well worth the effort I've even considered that for us when we have to change our roof which may not be too far away um, other type of roofing you have is this type you know is not necessarily painted it's just galvanized so you've got the roof panels there all link up so they're shaped and they just 
link together you screw them in or you can clamp them tight to make a seam so they're pretty good my favorite though has got to be the next one that's coming up well one of my favorites anyway and that's the terracotta tile now they, they look fantastic you'll see these throughout the Mediterranean um, and in parts of the UK uh, you'll see nice uh, even over here you see them down in Florida places like that now they do come with problems in weight they do weigh a lot more than shingles so therefore if your house isn't built for it um, you might have to have some structural work done first to hold that weight of the additional weight of a clay tile or terracotta tile um, on that roof so that's one thing you have to think about maybe your structure is not strong enough for it because you don't want to spend out put that on your roof and then your house comes tumbling down so the um, clay tiles they work um, they last for 20 uh, like 50 to 100 years so that's pretty good that's a lot longer than shingles and but they also cost more so what's the cost of those the clay tiles 10 to 20 bucks per square foot plus then you've got the addition of you know someone laying it um, but they do go up fairly quickly I've seen them doing it um, my house in the UK had similar tiles on the roof and never really a problem sometimes in strong winds you get these cap ones uh, might lift and come off and break um, but very rarely it was like hurricane conditions when that did happen and some of the ridge tiles had to be replaced and they get cemented down so not too much problem there um, they're not going to come off just for a breeze so what's after the clay tiles so obviously if you've got clay you're probably going to have concrete concrete tiles once again the man-made concrete tiles they're heavy so they're heavier than shingles and so obviously there again you need to make sure that your house is structurally secure and can hold the weight of those so it may mean you know get in touch with a roofer they'll be able to tell you um, whether your house is structurally sound or you may have to get a structural engineer to come and check it out so the uh, concrete tiles are same price and they last up to 50 years um, not as good as the clay tiles not quite as long and they cost about the same so I know which I'd prefer if I had the options so they also do rubber and plastic um, they do plastic type like this that are molded and they go on and they last a very long time you know um, that they, they don't degrade and they are good at, but they still weigh so there's still the weight involved and obviously it takes longer to put up um, these because they have to batten it they have to do a lot of other pre-work before they start hanging the tiles next one what about wood so you got the shakers the cedar shakes or oak and these look fantastic but very time consuming to put it up so it's going to cost you that much more in the long run in you know in having someone install it on your house and obviously they weigh a bit as well so all that wood they weigh they do crack they split and sometimes they'll you know fall out because of that uh, they look great especially when they start graying off but um, you know they're not the most popular so what's after that well I love these as well they're very good and that's slate so slate tiles they can last anywhere up to 200 years you know it's a phenomenal material it's you know it is a rock it's chipped away they have slate mines in the UK um, lots of roofing had slates they were built to hold it but they do weigh an awful lot um, I know a lot of places import it now from China and places like that if you haven't got a slate quarry 
um, but they do look fantastic they weather well and but there again they can crack and then you have to replace the tile however they do weigh something so that's another thing you need to check whether your house would hold the weight but the lifespan on them you know they last 125 to 200 years and I can well believe it because I've seen houses in the UK that are very old and still have the original slate roofs on them um, you know it's it's amazing amazing stuff you might get stuff growing on them um, but it's amazing stuff uh, it, it really good and talking about things growing on a roof we we'll go over to my next one the green roof yeah I don't mean it's painted green I mean it's green so yeah how are you gonna get your lawnmower up there Wow um, but yes there are roofs I don't know if any of you have ever been to Door County and gone to the restaurant there where the goats are up on the roof chewing away at the grass so they have a green roof up there um, it's planted with various different plants and succulents that um, like that type of thing and they put gravel down and they put a bed down with earth however all that earth can you imagine that when it gets wet it increases in weight so you have to have a house that's structurally built to take it so you can't just do that on any house but yeah people have grass roofs so uh, that's amazing another thing that is based on plants as well is one of, this is probably my favorite although they take a lot to take care of and that's the thatched roof love the thatched roof if you're ever in the UK and you go down to Cornwall or Devon you'll see quite a lot of these thatched roofs it's reeds that they um, cut down um, during the year they season them and then they stack these on the roofs um, it's a specialist job putting these in some of them have really articulate uh, patterns made into the ridge um, it's a very skilled labor and all these are patted into place by a guy some of them will have uh, like a chicken wire put over the top to stop any critters getting in there and uh, they look fantastic obviously the insurance is higher with these because um, although they try to make them as fire retardant as possible um, obviously you've got a roof made out of straw basically it's uh, they're out of the reeds and stuff like that that they get out of the riverways and they make this and obviously it's dry but I've seen it where some have caught fire hopefully it doesn't happen to anybody but um, I have seen it but they do look fantastic when they're done I mean look at that it's the chocolate box house with a nice thatched roof they are beautiful um, with these eyelash windows there you can see one of them's open there but yeah they are fantastic looking roofs they do weigh a bit so once again it's something that you would have to take into consideration if you was looking for that roof so with all of that what is your favorite roof do you go with the asphalt shingles do you go with those do you go with the metal roof the terracotta the slate the wood concrete or have a garden on your roof I know what I like to look at and that's that the thatch cottage however I think for um, for durability and price I think I might have to go with the metal shingles on the roof I think they look good 
they looked like a normal shingle but last a lot longer and it's not going to break the bank to put them in i know it's cheaper than the asphalt shingle uh dearer than the asphalt shingles uh, but they last a lot longer more or less double the life so what's your favorite choice uh drop a line let me know and uh, look forward to hearing from you bye for now if you got value from this content don't forget to like the video if you'd like to see more of the same then subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content we'd love to hear from you so leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for any future videos see you next time bye for now